Did you click like? You're the best.
I will quote. He said, we've finished on a bang. It's the best freestyle ever. Exclamation mark. People already cheering. What an entrance. What have you got left to do? You're just cleaning your tack? No, I'm going to clean his sheath. Cleaning his what? What is it? A sheath? What's a sheath? I'll show you. <clears throat> Don't... Why are you touching it like that? That is disg... That... <clears throat> close, your, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs>
check. I'll go first. This is from Ralph Lauren. The breeches are from Taylor Sportsman. The belt is from Gucci. <laughs> the helmet is from Sam Shield. The gloves are Latia, but they're from like Dover. And then I don't know where these boots are from. They're nasty. Um, this is a 1K. This is from Lululemon. Taylor Sportsman. Taylor Sportsman. And I'm pretty sure De Niro's. <laughs> but doesn't usually like ribbons, but we will give it a try. Uh oh. Maybe if I'm sneaky, he won't know that it's here. He definitely knows. We're off. This is so embarrassing. Of course, we have to create a scene. Okay, I'm aborting mission. How do you gallop over huge spooky jumps, but this is scary? Just going to laugh as if I didn't see this coming. Just a ribbon, bud. <laughs> that was so dramatic. My trainer tells me hurry up because I'm late. Ready. I feel like I am missing something. Oh, I know. Pretty toes. My trainer will understand. What else is missing? A necessary boot shine. I wonder if I should try that other bridle I've been thinking about trying. Yep, I think that was a good call. And I'm only 15 minutes late. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So it's your first lesson with me today. Yep. How much experience would you say you've got? Oh, I've got loads. Loads? Yeah, I've jumped over with um, John Whitaker in Holland. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm better than Charlotte Dujardin. You're better than Charlotte yeah. Dujardin? Yeah, like, I've, I've competed around Burley. Like, who's Piggy, <sighs> who's Piggy March? Like, who is who she? Who is she? Yeah. So you're better yeah. than me? Basically, yeah. 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 I'm right. not even sure why I'm here for a lesson. You don't need Maybe you no. should give me a lesson. Maybe I should. Right, well, in that case, walk on yeah. and let's get started. Right, off we go. Go, Jack. Go. That's not how you... That... Go. You, you've not ridden before, really, have you? Go, 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 como é verdade? Guten Morgen. <laughs> These are my stirrups, and if I was to fall off and my foot got stuck in the stirrup, they would just click out like that and it'd allow my foot to come away. Also, when I'm riding, I keep this tab on the stirrup bar down so that if that fails, and I do get caught up in the stirrup that the stirrup leather can just rip straight out of the stirrup bar um, instead of having it up like that, which would lock it in place. 
and I've never had my stirrup come off or move when I'm riding so it's completely safe to have that bar down like that so that's just some of the safety stuff I have on my saddle in case I was ever to fall off and get dragged by my horse here are some tips and tricks for cantering the first thing I would recommend to do is to stand in a two-point position to bring your heels down and make your legs be in the proper position. Then you see your horse canter by using pressure on your inside leg, close to the girth, outside leg, and like behind the girth. Make sure you're holding your body in a neutral position, sitting straight, shoulders down and back, but a little bit forward in your diagonal. Move your hips with the rhythm of the canter. And make sure you're using your seat bones. Imagine you're polishing your saddle with your seat. You hold a slight contact, but make sure your arms are relaxed to be able to follow your horse's head movement. Avoid gripping your knees as this will make it harder to balance and you'll tend to bounce. Strengthen your core muscles with cross training as this will help you maintain a neutral position, allowing your hips to move more freely. Putting down our fairly sexier old horse that has been with us since I was born. Last day. Sun cookies. Last time water. Last sunset. Good night, Papa. Last day in the pasture. Some pictures of us as we both grow up. horse but you probably don't know me and I have a Percheron he's 18 two hands I'm five six and a half ish right there and I've made it my life's mission to be able to mount him bareback what are you looking at boy he's huge my phone keeps turning off ah I made it my life's mission to be able to mount him bareback and I finally got it ish but I'm gonna show you all my skills so you can be proud of me so yeah I did it all by myself. He's so big. Anyways, fun stuff. He's a good boy ish sometimes. He's kind of hard to move. He has one speed. Actually, he can lope. But yeah, be proud of us. He's dope. This is how I just smell. <laughs> Anyways. Say hi, buddy. His name's Ricky. Hi. He's precious. We're besties. Also, the best thing that is It's like the My first year riding. Learning to post. Like two months, no videos. Then getting comfy in an English My saddle. First jump. I am aware now I was nowhere near ready. Sitting the canter. 
improving to point and leg strength. Lots of bareback for a better seat. The first higher level horse I rode. Ditch schooling because why not? Working transitions for the first time. Trying hunter collection and ed set with a loose rein to work leg aids. Learning to count strides with jumps for spice. First time holding a crop. I don't actually need to use it, but I still hold it BC. It helped my hand position. Also learning to love riding with no spurs and a horse that is eager. Oh, I need you to do it again. Do it again? Can you do it again? That's a phone. Do it again? <laughs> One more time. What the horse is doing is called cribbing. Cribbing is also known as crib biting. It is considered to be an abnormal, compulsive behavior seen in some horses and is often labeled a stable vice. The major factors that cause cribbing include stress and boredom, amongst others. The belt around the neck is to prevent the horse from cribbing, which obviously does not work very well for this horse. Gotta go. The horse grasps a fixed object such as a fence, stall door, bucket, or feeder with its front teeth, contracting the neck muscles and pulling back, usually producing a grunting sound. 